here we go again, back with more Pro Cycle Man in Season 2015, this time we're doing career mode, and I have done career mode before on my stream, but I haven't really done it specifically for YouTube videos before. This time I was thinking about what should I do for this channel, what should I do for career mode, should I go for winning all Grand Tours, and I thought that would be too similar to what I'm doing in my pro career. Should I go for monuments then? Should I go for winning all the classics? I'm doing that in my new career, pro cyclist career mode as well. So I thought, eh, that doesn't really seem like a thing I should should be going for. What am I missing? I've done uh, winning crane tours. I've done winning monuments. So that's basically like climbs and hills. So what we need is we need flat road. So what I'm going for in this career mode is winning the green jersey in all Grand Tours in the same year. And that's it's actually pretty easy if you have a strong sprint team. For example, if I had Jan Albertson, I could put uh, John Degenkolb in the Giro and the World and he'll have a pretty great chance at honestly winning both of the jerseys since he's great at the climbs and hills as well. So he should be able to make it to a lot of the finishes and get some sprint points, as well as win some of the bunch sprints. On the other hand, we have Kittel, who's a great in the flat roads, and there's a lot of flat sprints in the Tour de France, so he should easily... I think he has the best sprint of all riders at the moment. Yeah, 84. I think that's higher than Cavendish and... Uh, well, which other rider? Kaibel as well, for example. But I think that's too easy, so I'm starting with our custom team, a young team created of riders of my choosing. I put myself on a very limited budget. You have 800,000 euros realistically here, as you can say, but I'll, I'm only thinking I've only used 100,000 euros. That's actually a small amount of money considering a guy like Contador cost almost double the amount of my budget entirely. So we won't be seeing guys like Kevin Skrybel, Sagan on my team. I'm be looking at budget bargains I can put on my team and it'll be really good for me in a couple of years. But what we'll do first is just name our team. I'll just go with the usual Team Jürgen because that's what I use for all of my riders as well. And short name just be without the team. And JEV. Pick a team. Uh, jersey. All of these jerseys are, are pretty much older teams from 90s, 80s, or 70s. I don't know if there's any 60s jerseys as well. And the rest of them are just real name companies where they've just switched some weird letters around and they have as well the dollar jerseys. Mapai is of course a really recognizable shirt if you were watching cycling in the late late 90s as I was. Passabatro as well, 90s. And all of these as well come up to some 70s and 80s shirts here. So I'll be looking at any, some kind of fun jersey. Uh, I'm thinking, I'm, I know that's a T-Mobile jersey, I think it's called someone else, so I think I'll go with that. Because that's a pretty fun way to style jersey. So I'm looking for that right now. Where is T-Mobile? I'm just looking for pink here. It's really recognizable. Not this one though. Wow, there's a lot of jerseys you choose from actually. A lot more than I thought they were. Geico. Geico. <laughs> uh, I recognize a lot of these jerseys from my pro my cyclist pro cyclist career mode as well since a lot of the teams have changed names since Fonak ah I hated that team oh that's Astana a lot of Kazakhstan team Burikin what a great name oh these are the Danish team actually oh, we have to go to, to Germany as well so okay we're in Germany now here they are I can already see them now S Mobile We'll pick S-Mobile. I know we're not called, but we have a German team now. And the reason I've picked T-Mobile or S-Mobile, as they're called here, is because I know the Germans have a lot of good riders for sprint, flat, and time trial. And what you need if you want to win Grand Tours is great sprinters. They don't have to be German, but I want to build a team where like a third of the riders are German at least. And I want to have a lot of Riders so good lead up men, so they have to have decent sprint, around 70, 75 sprint, but hopefully around 75 plus in in flat road. And then I would just want to stack my team with young talents because they're cheap. They will be more expensive later on, but hopefully by that time I'll have a lot more budget, so I can 
at least afford to extend their contract and they don't just scatter off to other teams. So 100,000 budget, let's just get it started and look at the sprint here. And this is pretty important because this guy, the first guy I'm going to pick here, is going to be the captain for my team first season. Since I have 100,000 euros, everything over like 40,000 euros is pretty much uh, not going to happen. So Puhani and Demar are really good wilds. Become, Demar becomes such a beast later on. 71 hill, 80 sprint as a 23 year old. He's going to dominate later on in the race. These guys are already dominant, so they are already expensive. Later down here we have... This is the guy I'm looking at at the moment already. Playing Kukar, 22 years old. I know already from my Pro Cyclist mode that it becomes like 84, 85, 83 maybe in sprints later on in the game. And he's going for like a fourth of my budget. That's a lot to spend on one rider. Could go Pluto as well, but he's three years older. A lot cheaper though. I think I'm actually going to, to really spend some big money here and go with Prinko Kart. He's going to be by far the biggest captain of my team. And I don't think I'll be in the UCI World Tour in the first season. So he can easily get me a lot of points in the Continental Tour because the competition there wouldn't be as tough as it is in the World Tour. But I need another sprint as well because I can solely rely on Plinko Kart to win everything for me. So I'm going down a bit further here. Actually, I put it on H here. H and we'll go 24 years or younger than that. And what do we have from, to, to choose from here? I want to. I want a guy who can make it over the clients as well. Lupus Laup here, 20 years old, 76 sprint, but not that great hill stat, so I don't think I'll pick him. Caleb Ewan is pretty expensive. Marco Halla seems, seems like a okay choice, honestly. 76 sprint, 70 hill, good. I can't see a flat stat, 70 flat, that's okay. He can make it over the hills, which is really important for me. Okay, cheap rider. Could, should he be my second guy? Boris Valle here. 75, 77, 70 hill. Uh, he seems oh, good, pretty good as well. He's two years younger as well. What do we have? It's actually a bit bit acceleration, but a bit worse, worse sprint. Marco Halla. Uh, honestly, I think this guy's better, but he's 1,500 euros more. Is that going to matter in the end? It could matter in the end. I'm going with Marco Halla just because I want to save some money. I think the better rider is for my team would be this guy, but I'm going to save up here. So what I need now is actually a good flat rider. And I'm looking at around 75. Oh, that's the wrong one. Just wondering, Joaquin Rodriguez doesn't have 75 flat, doesn't he? So all of these riders are ex extremely expensive. I don't want to pay that much. So I'm be looking here at salary, oh, that's country. Salary, and uh, let's say 11,000. That's only one guy. That's only one guy uh, we can afford in this budget here. Okay, okay, I picked the wrong one again. Okay, four guys here. And they are all really old, which I don't like a lot. Uh, should I go young? Should I go with a bit, of, a bit worse stats? Or should I just pick up Conde Court? 75. They all have. Ango Wang has 77 though. But he's double as. He's double as expensive as Conde Court. And he's three years older. I think I'll pick Conde Court. 32 year old Dutch rider. He can be a great rider for my team here. What we'll do now is pick up some young talents who can. Uh, Really make stuff happen in the sprints here. Uh, is this one right? Yeah, it's this one. These guys, nah, don't really look at them. We're not going to happen. All of these guys on the first page here, not going to happen on my team. Could still have paid up Boris Valley, but I need some other young sprinters as well. McClay. Hulgor. In my career, he got 85 sprint, 85 acceleration. All of his other stats were terrible. But on a completely flat stage, this guy can be a beast later on. I'm picking him up for sure. Uh, let's look at the mountains here. Already I can see two guys here. 7,000 each. 
that's pretty cheap for 20 euro and kudos. Yeah, he gets plus 80 mountains later on, plus 80 hill. That's a bargain to pick up. Hinao as well. Pretty similar stats also becomes a great battle. One year old, not as great as Kudos, but still. For the price, it's pretty good. And let's see. Time trial. I know there's a, there's a German rider I want to pick up here. He's 18 years old, whereas he came there. I think he won the junior world championship and in under 23 he got third place this year world championship in uh, Richmond, Virginia. As a 18 year old he got third place at under 23 championship. That's insane. He's going to be really good. He's going to be 80 plus at least once he has his match potential. It will be a, a long time to come but for now it's a great bargain. Cobblestones. Oh that's sprint. Cobblestones. Anything we should look at here. Any cheap riders, but a Russian rider, 71, I don't I have never heard of him before. Efendiev, Fike Efendiev. I think I pick him up just because of his price, and I pick up Westermann as well because he's German. And now, all right, let's do something, come back right a minute. Okay, back again, and been looking at some riders meanwhile. I'm thinking about going with Kraunathan because I know he becomes really good. All of stats are above 60 already as a 20 year old and I want a Danish rider on my team. And they don't get any cheaper than 2500 as well. That's the lowest seller we can have. So for that price I'm easily picking him up here. Also picking up all of the 2500 riders here. Libertrain, I don't even know who he is but look at these stats. That tells me that I need to have him on my team. Now what we'll do again is go to Germany instead. Because we need to have some German riders on our team. It's important for sponsors later on if you have some good riders from your team or Germans. Looking at it here, Herr Klotz. These stats are pretty great for a German rider at 20 years old. I'm picking him up. I need to pick him up, so that's that's happening. Uh, already 12 riders. I need 6 more riders. I want to have around 18 riders for my team. That seems like a nice number to have here at the beginning. Have some riders who can rest and uh, around eight riders on two, on, uh, it, on two races happening at the same time. So I think that seems pretty all right. Right now I have three riders from Germany, so I need to pick up a lot more. I'm just picking Rick Sabla because for that price is good. Wilbowl as well, 72 sprint, and Nils Pollet 71 time trial is a good rider on top of that. So three more riders. Right now we have six Germans, so pick up one more. Then we see what we have in butt for the last two riders remaining. And uh, what should I do here? Any bit older riders maybe who can make it in here? Nah, it doesn't really seem like it. We could got, just go all out for Bauhaus, Dieter and as a punkt but I don't really know if we need a sprinter of that caliber. What kind of flat stats do they have? Bauha seems pretty good flat stats though. It's a it's a shame you can't sort by flat here. Uh, I would have liked it to put all stats here so you can sort by everything you need. But you have to go with what you can see. Could go with cast, only 18 years old, 70 sprint. 66 flat. I think I pick him up. He could be decent, I don't know. I don't know him. I don't know his potential either. Honestly, I don't know a lot of these captains at all, especially this Belarusian rider, 65 average. I have no idea what he is. So what we'll look at now is we have two riders remaining, 12,000. What can we get for that kind of money? So we need a rider for about 2,500, then we can pick up a big name rider. RM is good though. This RM is good. Pierrot to the tour, 72 mountain, 71 hill. What do we have? Uh, what, what are we missing? We have one punch, your hair clots. Could really need another hill classic climber here. And what are we looking at here? And if these two guys, Sion Elia or Paul Leonis, are pretty cheap, who's looking the best? I'm thinking this Italian rider here is looking a bit better just looking at stats. He's a one year older though. I'm still picking up the talent rider. And now we have 9,500 to use on a rider. Laub is the best we can get, 76 print. Is there any rider down here? Later on we can pick up 
as well, who will be even better. Danese. Fortuno. Fortunato Danese. 70 Cobblestone as well though, that would be pretty great to have another ride in Cobble Classics. We have FNDF 71. Uh, should I pick him up? 8500. I also go with this Kazakh Rider. Seems like a beast in the stage races. And he's pretty cheap as well. I don't want Model 18 Rider, so I don't... I've, I'm picking this guy up because that's crazy, that's for an 18 year old Rider. So yeah, that's pretty much my team. Let's just take a quick look at the stats of my team and uh, see how they're looking compared to each other. Yeah, don't really want to know about that right now. Attributes, best rider of course, Penko Kaa, Marco Hala Danese, actually the first be third best rider of the team. And now on Kudos are great riders in the climbs. I uh, feel like we picked them up really cheap. A lot of German riders down here who can become decent helpers for the team. None of them will probably be stars. Sprints is of course the main goal, and we have Penko Kaa, Marco Hala, Hulgar, who all become 80 plus sprinters if I remember correctly. I don't know about Marco Hala honestly, but he's good right now. I don't know if I spent too much on him. Vanese is an okay bargain as well for an 18 year old rider. He could be, probably become pretty good as well. Sabel, I don't know. Uh, we have a lot of, a lot of the sprinters are, have good, have great hill stats. We don't have, apart from this Belarusian guy, all of our riders have plus 60 sprints, uh, plus 60 hill, which is really important to me because I don't want to have no energy left once we hit the final sprint. Mountains is not our focus for this one, but we. Every team needs, needs to do a couple of climbers. And we have two guys with great potential here. We have Kudos Hinao, Herkles as well as a great guy, Liberati for the stage races as well, with a great time trial on top of that. Looking all right here, time trials, Pilot, Herkles, Liberati, Kemda becomes really good, only 18 years old. Anything else? Cobblestone to have this Belarusian guy. Actually, we have four guys with 80, a 70 plus Cobblestone, Conde Court. By far the oldest guy, look at this, 32 years old, 9 years older than the second oldest guy. Imagine being 23 years old and being the second oldest guy on your team. I don't know. But let me, guy, let me know guys what you thought about my decisions for the team. Any writers I missed up, any writers I shouldn't have picked, any writers I should have picked but I didn't. Uh, let me know down below. I don't know a lot of these guys' potential so I just took it based on their age and their stats at the moment and of course on the salary since I had such a limited budget. But yeah, leave a comment down below, like the video if you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next time where we'll be taking, taking a look at the schedule and maybe we'll even do our first race, I haven't decided yet. See you guys next time, goodbye.